Bigyan mo ng spirit yung photograph. The homeless man with a golden voice and the Philippines Prince of Popera. It's for the show that mixes Hollywood news with Filipino-American stories. Cabo by in LA starts right now. And boy, we are packed today. This is Cabo Bayan LA. This is uh, America's first and only daily talk show for and about the Filipinos. Joining us this afternoon is Antoinette Bueno, who is the web editor and lifestyle editor of Balita. Hello and welcome to Cabo Bayan LA. Hi, nice to see you again, Janelle. And on Fridays, you know, we talk about what's hot on the internet, social media, and also what's hot, what people are talking about, basically. And this week, hands down, the guy, the homeless guy with the golden voice, the much-talked-about guy, what are your thoughts on that? Well, Ted Williams has been everywhere, and this is a story that really epitomizes how in the Internet age, anything can happen and dreams can come true literally overnight. Right, I mean, exactly. this guy went from homeless to having a job and a house in the matter of two days. And it's so. not just a job, many, many jobs. If you don't know who Ted Williams is, you should watch this. Hey, I'm going to make you work for your dollar. Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more right after these words. <laughs> And don't forget, tomorrow morning is your chance to win a pair of tickets to see this man live in concert. <laughs> Thank you. Boy, he didn't want to stop, huh? But, okay, for somebody as talented as him with a voice like that, what happened, for those who don't know? Well, he was a homeless guy, not unlike any other homeless person, and he had a sign that said, I have a God-given gift of voice. And actually, a reporter from the Columbus Dispatch in Ohio saw him and said, you know, work for your dollar. Let me hear the voice. Right. And he was shocked because this guy totally delivered. And he posted it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It got a lot of hits. 4.5 million hits in just two days. Yes, yeah. and he got a lot of job offers since then. And now he has a second chance at making his right. life better. But the thing is, do you think it will last? I mean, it's such a heartwarming story, but the bottom line is, He's had problems with alcohol and drugs, robbery, you know, different stuff. That's very true. Um, I think people were quick to jump on the bandwagon of, let's help this guy, this is amazing. But now a lot of stories are coming out about how he was addicted to drugs and alcohol. But he said he's been clean for two years. Right. and. I think it would take a lot for him to mess up this chance. I so. hope he makes it. I'm rooting right. for him. But you know, at the same time, he is very lucky. There's so very lucky. many homeless Extremely people lucky. out there, right. and he gets this one big chance. Yeah. That's what's been written about. They say, well, you're not really looking at the issue of homelessness. This is just one guy out of how many people have been homeless. Right. So, and, kind of a controversy there. And yeah. the thing is, I guess the lesson here for us is also to take a listen. If we have extra time, you know, stop right. and talk to these homeless people. Each one has a story. It's Christmas Day, I volunteered to feed homeless people in Long Beach. And it was sad because there's one guy that said, Sometimes you got to make sure that a person lying down who appears to be sleeping is just asleep because and not people dead, have died on right. the streets and nobody Especially with the bad weather. It's yeah. Terrible. Right. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about Hollywood. Everybody is talking about Jake Gyllenhaal <laughs> and Taylor Swift. After two months, no more. <laughs> I, well, this is a quick romance. Right. I mean, I don't think anybody expected this to last. There's a nine-year age difference between these two. Jake broke it off. They said he was kind of feeling the age difference and too much publicity too quickly. Yeah, nine still. years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber over the holiday weekend or New Year weekend. Um, they're too young to be dating. I'm sorry. It's I'm true. old fashioned. I know. The pictures were kind of scandalous. Yeah. Uh, they were on a yacht in the Caribbean and kissing L and everything. And Plus, well, at the same time, what's yeah. up with Justin Bieber? He's what? Did she change his girlfriends every month or two months? Right. I mean, he's only 16 years old, but he makes no apologies. He was recently on Vanity Fair saying, I like girls. I'm 16. Okay. Here's another age difference right here. Selena is 18 and just... He's just too young to be changing yeah. girlfriends at this space and, you know, going on vacations like that. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. I wonder how his parents are thinking, reacting about this. And she actually got death threats on Twitter. Really? When Who? Selena Gomez, oh. when it came out that they were dating. So. And I know that they're having, like, um, Justin Bieber's ex is half Filipina, half Mexican, right, Jasmine, Jasmine Villegas. Villegas. And you were saying something about on Twitter, they're fighting? Right. Well, they just kind of had a little bit of a spat. I mean, he tweeted something about, oh, girls, you know, real guys know how to treat women with respect and everything like that. And she wrote something back an hour later like, well, actions speak louder than words. So wow. <laughs> people thought that it was directed towards him. Right. Wow. Juicy. Juicy. And speaking of juicy, when we return on the show, a lot of red carpets, fashion hits and misses. Red carpet fashion hits and misses from the People's Choice Awards uh, two nights ago. We're going to be talking about that when we return. Don't go away.